OK, so what I have here is 1 divided by sine cubed of x minus cotangent squared of x divided by sine of x. And again, what I'm going to want to do here is if I'm, I, I have two you know, rational expressions and I had this operation of subtraction. So to do that, I got to make sure I have um, my common denominator. So to do that, I'm going to have to multiply to get common denominator. So since this is this S, um, sine cubed and this is sine, uh, the common denominator is going to be sine cubed. So I already have sine cubed here. So to get this to be sine cubed, I'll have to multiply by sine squared of x on the top and on the bottom to make sure we keep equivalent fractions. All right. So now I go ahead and do that. And I have 1 minus cotangent squared of x times sine squared of x, all divided by sine cubed of x. Now remember the cotangent by using my reciprocal identities. Remember tangent of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. The cotangent of x equals cosine of x over sine of x. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 1 minus um, cosine of x over sine of x. And when I multiply, um, that's squared, right? Cotangent squared, so it's cosine squared over sine squared times sine squared of x. We can rewrite that as a fraction as over 1 divided by sine cubed of x. Well, here you can see that now my sine squareds are going to uh, divide into 1. So I'm just left with 1 minus cosine squared of x divided by sine cubed of x. Now, we're not done yet because we still need to go back and say, all right, well, how can we simplify 1 minus cosine squared? So we look at another identity, which is the Pythagorean identity. Remember, the Pythagorean identity says cosine, well, let's do sine. Um, let me rewrite these since we don't need them anymore. If I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x, that equals 1. So to solve for sine, if I subtract the cosine squared of x on both sides, I have sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine squared of x. Therefore, you can see that is the same as that. So now I can replace this as sine squared of x divided by sine cubed of x. Well, that's just like having x squared over x cubed, which we know is just going to leave as 1 over x. So in this case, I have this now as just 1 over sine of x. And we know by the reciprocal identities, 1 over sine of x, that is just equal to cosecant of x. And that is going to be our final simplified, uh, simplified expression. Thanks.